Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here, and today we are going to talk about Ernest Cadine, who was a French weightlifter and Olympic gold medalist, who possessed a truly phenomenal physique, considering that he lifted and competed at a time well before the advent of synthetic testosterone, which was of course synthesized in the mid-1930s. From the photos from the different French lifting archives that exist of Ernest Cadeen, we can clearly see that he was very well developed, especially in the arms and shoulders. I mean, these photos just show you his fantastic development in his biceps and his triceps. I mean, this guy was just massive for the time. I mean, for that particular period, the Bronze Era, he was thick developed in the arms. He had thick and capped shoulders and, uh, you know, well-developed chest and back and leg muscles. And on top of that, this guy was pretty defined. I mean, you can say he was pretty ripped for back then. He was awesome. Again, we need to understand that this guy did not train for bodybuilding even, yet he developed a really muscular physique and naturally. Ernest Cadeen was born on the 12th of July in 1893 and represented France in the 1920 Summer Olympics in Antwerp in Belgium where he won a gold medal. If we look at his training, as a teenager, Kadeen trained in gymnastics, in wrestling, weightlifting, and swimming. Note, no bodybuilding then, just note that. So he was a great overall athlete. Before the First World War, he competed and finished third in the National Middleweight Weightlifting Championships and then served with an artillery regiment during the war. So, I mean, not only was this guy strong and muscular, but this guy was a total badass, wasn't he? Now, returning from the war, not only did he win a gold medal in the 1920 Olympics for France, but between 1920 and 1925, at only a height of 5 foot 6 and weighing at a very impressive 181 pounds, he set six world records in Olympic weightlifting, being three in the snatch and three in the clean and jerk. Later on, he stopped competing internationally and became a professional weightlifting strongman and also posed as a model and was also known as having a crushing handshake like a bench vice. In 1925, Kadeen performed a one-arm swing with a 198.5 pound dumbbell and a right-hand snatch with 211 pounds. Some of these photos are still available and in great quality too. He also one-hand deadlifted the famous 366 pound Apollon wheels with its thick, almost two-inch bar. I mean, this guy was an absolute animal. David Willoughby, the Iron Game historian, wrote in a 1952 magazine article, quote, Ernest Cadeen was a fine, polished, all-round lifter and would have shown even greater advantage had not his famous French rival Charles Rigolo come along at the same time. And I have to agree with him. That's end quote. I have to agree with David Willoughby. Indeed, most people would remember Charles Rigolo, but not ever remember having even heard the name of Ernest Cadeen, unfortunately. But I hope that uh, this video is going to bring him to light. He had a phenomenal physique. He was super strong, a real superhuman back in the Bronze Era. Ernest Cadeen died on May the 28th, 1978 at the age Age of 84. That same year, he received the French National Order of Merit. It's very interesting to reflect now on the kind of exercises his workout comprised of, and it is the way most lifters would train back during the Bronze Era. They trained the strongman way, understanding that bodybuilding was at its absolute infancy and Eugene Sandow and the students of Professor Attila were still educating the masses on the principles of bodybuilding. Uh, weightlifters, though, had been around for a long time. Strongmen had, had been around for a very, very long time. 
And so these guys were prominent back then, and they practiced things like gymnastics, like wrestling, and Olympic weightlifting, as well as other kinds of weightlifting. The weightlifting as well that they practiced back then was very different to what is practiced today. Not only did they perform the basic Olympic lifts, which are the snatch and the clean and jerk, but many of course practiced the press. The press was actually an Olympic lift back then, as well as something called odd lifting, which is more or less a lost practice nowadays. Basically, it included very odd lifts, lifts that are odd by most people's uh, opinion, that is. But these exercises basically included things like one-handed lifting, for example, such as the one-handed clean and jerk, presses and snatches, all done with one hand, as well as bent over pressing, or one or two-handed deadlifts, wrestlers' bridges and presses, pullovers, all these kinds of odd lifts that were famous back then, uh, you know, all these kinds of bridges, and of course, also squats, and a whole bunch of other lifts, basically. These kinds of lifts all were grouped together and named odd lifts, and from the odd lifts came Olympic weightlifting. But again, these odd lifts are things that most people don't practice today. This again goes to show that back then at least, the combination of odd lifting, Olympic weightlifting, and gymnastics was one of the several ways that a strong and impressive physique could be achieved naturally. So I do hope you have enjoyed this look at French Olympic gold medalist Ernest Cadine this bronze era strongman and possessor of one of the finest physiques in the world during the bronze era. If you have enjoyed the video, please give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and please leave me your comments. Do you like hearing of these natural phenomenal lifters from the bronze era, before the age of synthetic testosterone and before synthetic steroids were ever created? If so, please comment and I'll make sure to bring you more information on these fantastic physiques and strongmen from the bronze era. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying, bye for now. Now, if you'd like to learn more about odd lifting and the bronze era methods of Olympic weightlifting, gymnastics, and hand balancing, then please head to my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com, where you will find a vast array of publications on the bronze era methods of training as used by Ernest Cadeen, Charles Rigolo, Eugene Sandow, Bobby Pandura, and more at www.goldenerabookroom.com. Weightlifting by Bob Hoffman is particularly excellent at describing the odd lifts practiced during the Bronze Era. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince, but to be honest, these three books I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Deronda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises, and believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platt, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. 
To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout.